I'm in an apartment complex, my neighbors hear nothing. So this is what we sound like to everybody else. And this is what we sound like listening through the headphone mix. Welcome to the first installment of Will It Work? And this is where I take an idea that I have that's kind of nutty, but that should prove very useful as a recording musician, as a person who just likes to play guitar, and try to make it happen. The first idea here was to have a rehearsal with a drum set, a full band singing and bass and guitar in my bedroom with headphones because I live in an apartment complex. So what you're seeing right now is me my brother Dan on the lead guitar, I'm playing uh, bass slash guitar rhythm combined uh, with the Boss OC5, which basically creates a bass line under your chords, which is kind of amazing. Nick, my, brother, my other brother, is on the drums. I think it sounds great. Why do this in the first place? Well, uh, the cost of living is absurd in California, and most people, therefore, like that I know at least, live in apartments. If you live in a house where you have a garage where we could, you know, practice, you probably have roommates, and they might not be thrilled about you having a full band there. Even if you have the option, I think, to play with an acoustic drum set and like the amps and all that sort of stuff, I think the sound quality when listening and monitoring with headphones is just like so much better. hearing like the the blaring drum set right next to you and then therefore having to have you know your amps turned up and the vocal PA turned up so you can hear it over the drum set I mean it's loud I'm upset louder I'm upset louder I'm upset and I, I just think a lot gets lost and so what what do you usually end up doing is oftentimes you'll put musicians earplugs in to protect your ears and then you're not getting the full sound anyway so when we first figured out how to do this like I was awestruck at the sound quality we were getting it's like I can hear the vocals, I can hear the bass, I can hear the guitar, I can hear like every little thing the drums are doing. Yeah, I prefer the sound. Now, how can you do this? You need to have digital inputs for your guitars. So the easiest way to have a digital input for your guitar is to use an amp modeler. So Dan uses the full Helix Floor and I use an HX Stomp and we just both went directly into the mixer. So I use a cheap like $90 Behringer mixer. And all we did was just vocals into one, drums into another, my HX stomp into one, dance helix into a different one. There it is. And then I plugged that mixer into the audio interface and I'm recording. We have like, <laughs> we put, now the tricky thing was actually the monitoring. Uh, this, this turned out to be the hardest thing was that this is a bunch of headphone splitters uh, tied together. So there's two headphone splitters <laughs> right here because there's only one headphone output to monitor on the mix and I want all three of us to be able to monitor. So I bought two headphone splitters and then like I had to buy this converter. Yeah, so that the uh, eighth inch inputs would work with my quarter inch 
uh, headphones. We're shredding, we're having a good time, we're not self-conscious about how much noise we're making. Now that's the other thing. You need an electric drum set to make this work. This won't work without an electric drum set. You have to have digital inputs for everything. For we use Helix, but you know, a Kemper, Axe FX, Katana probably would work too, right? Anything that can be direct in monitored would work with ease. If you wanna be able to do like what I did, which is play rhythm guitar and have it fill in bass frequencies so that you can mimic having a bass player. Um, it's not the same thing as having a bass player, but you can fill in those frequencies so at least you sound full. You should use the Boss OC5, which I featured in some of my other videos, but we, you know, we're not playing with a bass player uh, in what you hear. Uh, yeah, it's doable. And most of all, it keeps this guy from getting mad at me. So, Toby. So let me know in the comments, why is there just a random guitar neck behind me? No, no, realistically, do you play with headphones? Did you have to stop playing with a drummer because of a change in your living situation and it's just not convenient? Are you a drummer and you just like can't find any, you know, there's just nowhere for you to play your acoustic drum set? Does this, you know, does this seem like a feasible solution? But yeah, if you like this, please like and subscribe. I'm Upside Down Guitar Guy. Later.